because we've got a terrific group of parents here and they're always fundraising for the school and they're very actively involved but we're looking at how can we involve them in educational activities in the school and, and make them like have a partnership with the parents rather than just have um, the parents separate to the school um, and so we thought well it's an old-fashioned idea as electives so we get the parents to come in um, run some activities and we, we did it with just the grade three to six and we did a two-week trial in term two and it worked brilliantly um, and then we had that many people wanting to come on board to want to do it that we thought well, we'd, we'd end up we'll do the whole school and we had sort of a three different types of groups there was three to six groups there was prep to two groups and there was actually a um, multi-age group which was prep to six in, which was the landscaping group the, the hardest thing was, we, we talked about the uni classes, the best way to engage parents and I found here in particular was um, the actual direct asking of parents. I mean people, I mean because of the socio-economic nature of where we live, there's, they do have a lot of free time, especially the mums during the day or one of the parents do and, um, and they've got their own skills and talents that they'd like to share so it was a, it was a good way to get them in. Through just a, ch a chance meeting um, with Kim Hardiman, who's doing the, the year one of this course, um, she's the year nine level coordinator at um, the Anzac campus, which, which is across the road here. Um, and we invited the Star Girls to come and be part of all the groups. So there was actually two Star Girls, which with, I think there was, um, I'm told me there was about 17 groups. So we had, it was a hive of people. We actually even got my wife to come in and run an activity. And an off, an off spin from that was I got to have my little two year old boy got to walk around with me at school and he loved that. Um, with, with the Star Girls, we're building friendships. Um, and because the, the girls are sort of always walking through our school to get to the main campus, and so that now that the kids can say hello because they don't actually know who they are. Um, we were, to a lesser extent, we were le less ex successful involving the parish. Um, I wrote a letter to the parishioners that we put in the, in the foyer of the church and I had the opportunity to speak sort of at the end of Mass just to invite people to come over and help if they'd like. Um, we got one parishioner that did golf in the, in the two week trial which was awesome but he went overseas for the rest of the year so we've actually got him signed on for next year which is good. Um, and then we had a couple of other parishioners that were would have, we'd wanted to do recorder but we couldn't get the right age group kids for them and it, it didn't quite work as well as I hoped. But a plan for next year is, um, is to definitely keep focusing on the parishioners. We've actually got a couple of grandparents lined up for next year as well, so that sort of comes under the parishioner um, umbrella as well. Baby steps, we'll, uh, we'll keep chipping away at it. And that's, and that's sort of the nature of the project is someone will come up with a great idea and we'll say, right, we'll run with that. Um, with one of the teachers, we were at Lobberhorns over one of the activities I wanted to do, to tap into the gardening club that we already have and she wanted to keep it separate. And from that, that, that um, the arguments and disagreements that we had, we actually came up with something better. So we, we came up with um, a landscaping group. So it actually involved the kids that were in the gardening club but it, it was we focused on another area of the school outside. So from, from something there we, we actually got a, a better result that we wanted so that worked out well. Because the, the big thing is how, how do you get something to, to embed it into the school so it actually becomes part of the culture and, and Simon the principal has been instrumental in, in keeping that because that's I mean, the, the main reason for something to succeed in the school is obviously the principal, the, the leadership team and, um, and he's been 100% behind it. In fact he's been the driving force of all we're talking about what I could do for my um, research pro action research project and, and he said well I like this idea that you've been doing, let's extend on it, let's do it. So he's, he's sort of given me the little bit of a push to get it going. I mean, the parents are involved in the PNF. They, they, they love their fundraising and that's terrific. But we did see a real need, I mean, for, for such a high socioeconomic area with parents who are highly educated, they have a lot to share. So we want to get them engaged in the, in the life of, and of, the, of the children in the school, but also become partnerships in education. So with the, with the kids will say, oh, if they say, what did you do in, in, at school today? And oh, we did electives, oh, what did you do even to show us? Would you like to share that skill with me? Or did you know that mum knows how to do this? Would you like to learn? And they might say, oh, why don't you come and do it at school?
fact that the kids just love having their parents here. And I've found, and it sort of dispelled the myth for us here at school that only the little kids like having their parents here. The older kids have loved it just as much. And believe it or not, we've actually had, I mean, we've, we have our literacy program and we have, that's well supported in, in prep ones and twos, but I mean, we have parents that help with sports and, and they're terrific, but to actually get them in here, and the kids have loved having their parents here. And I've, I've in particular made sure, unless they've requested otherwise, that the kids that um, parents are here, they're actually in their group as well. The benefits that you get from it are just fantastic. Um, obviously it went from just a grade five, six thing to why don't we incorporate those threes and fours? Why don't we incorporate the whole school? Why don't we get the parishioners in? We've got parents in. Um, we apply for some funding with the Bayside Council unsuccessfully, but I'll keep going with that. So I mean, we can buy, I mean, equipment. There was one of the groups wanted to do um, like an outdoorsy camping type thing, like how to set up tents and obviously we won't like campfires or anything, but uh, it was, um, it, there's so many other things that you can try with gardening and, and the parents are so lovely that they, they, they love being here and it's actually, it's given them an avenue to be part of the school, like the, the educational life of the school.